You were beautiful and wonderful to a lot of people. God, his face, face is shining on you because of the type of person you are. See, these people had you in their presence for a long time. But for some strange reason, they didn't know how you should be treated, how you should be, the type of person you were. They studied you all this time and couldn't figure out how you were supposed to be treated. So they decided to be nasty and trashy towards you. Just downright despicable. Without cause. In your absence is their misery. You're no longer in these people's presence anymore because God moved you out the way. He said he was tired of them treating you like you were less than. Like you were no one. Like you were... Like you were just here, wasting space. God said you weren't here to waste space. You was here to be a light. You were that light to these people. But in return, while you were being the light, they chose to give you nasty and trashy energy. So you came to realize that you didn't need these people. You didn't need their nasty and trashy energy. And you decided to move forward with your life. See, you have to know your worth. And you figured out your worth at a young age. You figured out your worth. You've been through so much abuse. You've been through so much turmoil. You've been through so much foolishness. That it caused you to learn you from the inside out. It caused you to know the older you got, what you wasn't going to put up with. You decided not to put up with these people because they were treating you, they were treating you like you were nothing. <laughs> and you figured out your worth because of it. Like, I can do better than this. I can do better than what you guys are treating me. You realize that your absence was going to be their misery because you were the light and you brought joy and peace and happiness around these people. But for some strange reason, they thought they were better than you. They thought they could crap on you. They thought they could treat you any type of way. They thought they could stump on your name. They thought they could slander you. They thought they... they they thought that you can just be treated like you weren't delicate in the spirit. But you surprised them. Oh, you surprised these people. See, while they were out thinking you didn't know your worth, you were teaching them your worth by you walking away from their foolishness. And oh, was they shocked. They were very shocked because they thought you was going to stick around and stay miserable with them with the energy they was giving you <laughs> but you were smarter than that you said no i got better things to do with my time and energy the devil was a liar you knew the devil was a liar you knew these people wasn't right you knew they didn't give you they wouldn't give you a pot they wouldn't give you a pot to piss in basically and you shifted past the foolishness because you knew that they were treating you like this without cause and God got tired God got tired he got tired of these people treating you like you were not his child you gotta understand when people hurt you they are offending God when they decide to hurt you they are offending the source that created you because he, crea he created you royal for his specific purpose. But they treat you like, they shunning you like you're less than. Like you were nobody. Like, oh, that's just, that's just Brittany. That's just Roxanne. That's just Aaliyah. 
They're nobody. We can dog them. We can be nasty towards them. We can treat them any type of way. But God said, nope. By you elevating into your purpose, <laughs> he's saying, I'm going to make you know your worth as my child so you can know what type of people and what type of jobs and all these folks that mean you no good, you will know what you don't need to deal with. And you figured out what you didn't need to deal with. They thought you was going to sit around there and put up with the slander, put up with trashy energy, and you... God said, enough is enough. You said enough is enough. And God heard your cries. God heard your cries. So he gave you a way out of escape. You ain't got to go back to people that's going to treat you less than. You ain't got to go back to jobs that's going to treat you horribly. Don't want to pay you what you're worth. But you're sitting there busting your tail day in and day out just to come home, barely making ends meet. You don't think God is tired of all that? God said he's tired of all that, but are you tired? See, when you get tired, then he can move on your behalf. And because you got tired, God is now moving on your behalf and saying that, hey, you worth better than that. You worth better than that. If people can't treat you like my royal child, they don't deserve your time and energy. And this is what you're telling these folks. Y'all don't worth... Y'all not worth my time and energy because y'all not treating me right. Y'all not treating me right. Y'all know y'all treat me horribly. So, you putting these people in a place and they can't handle it. You put these people in a place as you rightfully should have. Never disrespect a child of God. And this is what you taught these people. Or they can surely get your absence. And ain't got to hear from you again. You don't care because you don't hear from these people. They won't worry about you than you worried about them. You're not even worried about them. Because God got you shifting forward in your life purpose. See, they thought you was going to cry. You was going to beg, plead. God said, you ain't got to beg nobody. You are royalty. That's who you are. You come from a royal heavenly kingdom. It ain't your fault that these people don't believe in God. It ain't your fault that they made money their God and material possessions. You chose the Holy Spirit over these things. They chose their material possessions over the Holy Spirit. So they despise you because of that. Oh, you ain't got a lot of money, so that makes you nobody. When they don't even know that money can come and go. And not only that, you can't take that with you when you leave the earth. You can't. You can't take nothing with you in this life. So why are you going to stress out about something that you can't even take with you? They did you a favor, these people. These losers, these jokers, these people did you a favor. Because you wasn't supposed to be down there anyway. You were supposed to have been higher. Higher for God's glory. Glory, hallelujah. See, you got radiant, potent energy. They got low vibrational, nasty, trashy energy. And now, you got tired of putting up with their shenanigans and they don't even know what to do. They don't even know how to approach you or how to treat you now. <laughs> because you showed them that you was better than what they made you out to be. They had no business coming for you in a foul way. You could care less about how many accomplishments they got. You got accomplishments too, but your heart is pure compared to theirs. Their hearts wasn't pure to you like yours was to theirs. And God said, I'm just going to move you out the way. And he moved you. He moved you. And you should be thankful that God moved you away from these nasty and trashy people. They had no business being that way towards you. But that's what they wanted. Because they thought you was nobody. But God is showing them now that you were somebody. You were always somebody. They just It was their turn to figure out your worth now. You know your worth. But it was their turn 
to figure out your worth. Little did they know. You ain't need they drama. You didn't need they foolishness. You didn't need they you didn't need they stank energy. You ain't need none of it. <laughs> you ain't need they nasty, trashy energy. God said you better than that. You ain't got to kiss these people's behind just to feel like you somebody. When you're already somebody because you got his Holy Spirit within you. That's what God is saying to you right now. He is proud of you for letting these people go. You ain't hang on to something that you knew was a dead end relationship or you knew was a dead end job or you knew was dead and everything. You let it go. You freed yourself from that foolishness and you move forward in your faith as you should have done. Move forward in your faith and continue to move forward in faith. That's all you got is your faith. You ain't got nothing else. All this earth material things that people get obsessed over is temporary. But your faith ain't temporary. That's eternal. Your faith is eternal. Because that's something that can't be taught. Faith cannot be taught. You got faith on the inside of you because you believed in the Heavenly Father and His commandments. And you believed in His word when He said that if you live righteous, you shall inherit the earth. You believe God when He said that to you. So you behave righteously. You didn't behave wickedly like these people. You behave righteously. And your reward is going to be big later. These people were acting nasty and trashy because... They wanted some type of monetary gain or material possession or some type of man or woman that's had them acting, acting crazy. They wasn't behaving righteously like you. They chose to behave wickedly for their material possessions. That's only temporary. That's what these people chose to do. But God has surprised them and shocked them now because your faith is the only thing that's going to stand in the end. That's your foundation. Their material possessions is not their foundation because it can be taken away. But your faith is your foundation because that's eternal life. <laughs> and that's the prophetic message I have for someone. Your absence is their misery. They mishandled you and you are a divine one of God. Now they got to be miserable while you absent and you keep moving forward in faith. If you reached to the end of the video, it was meant for you to hear this prophetic message regarding these miserable and nasty people. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, we have reached 12,000 Diamond Royals. 12,000. 12,000 is very significant to God. He had 12 disciples, Yeshua. God had 12 tribes of Israel from Jacob's 12 sons. That's what created the 12 tribes of Israel. In the book of Revelation, the number 12 is significant. When a new heaven and a new earth came in Revelation 21, there were 12 gates with the 12 tribes of Israel names on it with a whole bunch of jewels around each gate. 12 again. So we have 12,000 diamond royals and I'm excited about that. You guys are truly a blessing. I'm glad that my videos are an inspiration to you guys. If you need prayer, motivation, or just a friend, I am that person for you. 12,000 Diamond Royals we have reached for the Heavenly Father's Kingdom through His Holy Spirit. And I'm thankful about that. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.